Right, here we are, we're driving in our latest purchase, a smart car, 700 cc's of raw power. Um, so yeah, we just picked this up. It's, it's really George, we've got George with us today. It's good. Um, it's good, everything seems to just about sort of work. Um, it's got a six speed automatic gearbox. Um, it's got half a tank of fuel, which in this thing will do us a fair bit. But we've got a big hill coming up. We've got Chalfont Hill coming up. Chalfont, Chalford Hill. So we're going to test this little. So at the moment we're in fourth gear. Um, we got a little bit of a brake warning light. We've got to check out the brakes, but they seem to work fine. So we'll check those out. We've only got a short drive though, so don't panic. We've got this covered. Um, right, here we go. Here's the big hill. So. We haven't worked out how to put it in automatic mode. So to change gear in this thing, you just literally push it forward. So I'm gonna go down into, into third and that should drop the gear. And it's, it's a buzzy little thing. Let's have a look how it does on the hill, shall we? There we go. Three cylinders. It's got six spark plugs, two spark plugs per cylinder. That's pulling away, isn't it? That's good. That's good. That's quicker than your, your bus, George. It makes a nice little sort of, when you change the gear, it makes a nice little sort of dump valve noise on it. Ah, oh, you can hear it then when I let off. There we go, we're racking the speed. Oh, you go, boom. Right, so we'll, we'll have a get this back to the back to uh, back to the warehouse and we'll have a look over it and see see what else we got what else we got look you can move the clocks about look oh, the air freshness tape move the clocks about what other cool features that we found on it George not much really not much really right we'll get back and have a look okay right we'll do a little acceleration test because it's not too bad okay we're just crawling along we've got some someone behind us um there you go 15 miles an hour first gear here we go He's pretty nippy. He's uh, he's pretty good, isn't he? So although he's good for around town, I mean, ideally he's made for town driving. What were you thinking? Um, we're finding it all right in the countries. We're, we're zipping this about. Anyway, we're nearly we're nearly back at base, so we'll we'll get back at base and give it a good look over. Okay, so we've uh, we've arrived back at the at the warehouse, and we're gonna we just realised that I thought that's got any parking sensors. But if you look out the back window, look, we're gonna reverse up against the warehouse door here. I don't think you need parking sensors because you can see you can see how close you can get just by the, the rear window there. Dodgy clutch control, even though we're in the clutch. We're on a bit of a slope on the ramp. So there we go, we're back at ranch. There it is, let's have a little wander around. So we haven't cleaned it or done anything yet. It's got a set of wheel trims on it. It's got, so they've got 15 inch wheels. They're not alloys, they just got some trims over it. I wonder if you could buy like dynamic side repeaters. It's a pure, so they have various different models. So ours is a pure. Um, let's have a look what else we got. This, I think this bit here is falling out the, this bit here is falling out a bit, but we'll have a look at that. Front looks all right. Headlights, are they a bit misted up inside? We'll have to have a look at that. But it has been sat for a few months. You can see it's gone all green. The wiper blades initially weren't too bad. Um, let's have a look what else we've got going on. It seems pretty tidy. There doesn't seem to be many scrapes on that one, does it, Gary? No, it looks tidy. A, I guess that's the filler cap. Again, we haven't even... What do you reckon that is? No, you've got one around this side. Oh, you've got one around that? That's just like some vent or something. Going. And there's the back, all oh, the sun's a bit hard to... Um, it's popped the engine, we've just had a look at that and there's a little bit of a surprise. So if you open the door and you press that little switch there, now the gas struts are gone so I guess it should maybe spring that, that up but you see it's lost its... so we'll have to replace the gas strut. And then if you lower the, the tailgate, do you want to pull that one George? And you've got to pull the little orange handle at both ends. And that does that, and then the engine's under there. So if you lift that bit of carpet up, and then give that little, that little, on, give that little, that's it, and then put that up. And look, we we just had a look under here, and someone's put like a Forge Motorsport silicon hose induction kit. They've changed the turbo 
blow off valve and it's got a dump valve hidden in here look because we we thought as we were driving along it's like doo, doo, when we change gear so it looks like it's been a bit tricked up so um we're quite happy that we like tricks don't we? so there we go let's have a look so that's your seat that's your button release your uh, bonnet release these are your little your air vents everything's all a bit space agent considering it's 2003 it's quite buzzy really you know, obviously they got and then uh, like even a vanity mirror just one they got electric windows airbag you haven't got any much of a glove box you got a cup holder and this is the gear chain so we haven't got automatic on this one you can see there if i get it in the shade a bit so you change gear just by going forward or backwards the keys down here um you've got no clutch pedal so you've literally used the brake and accelerator on some they said you could put it in an auto mode but i haven't worked out how to do that it might not be on this model that cigarette like the radio doesn't work but these are the heater controls there's a I mean, it's got a heated rear window, but it's interesting. The um, the passenger seat they they stagger, so the passenger seat is sat further back than the driver's seat, just to give you a bit more room, I guess, so you don't bump your shoulders together. Um, but you've got obviously that's the room in the back, so it's limited. What else have you got there? What do those little knobs do, Gary? Are they just? I think they're just screwing things. Yeah. They're fast things. It looks. Looks like. So we'll have decoration, isn't it? Just decoration. Well. Yeah, I think there were some accessories you could get the bolt on here, and okay. um, like cassette holders and and the, I was looking in the manual. Um, There's a few things on the side here. Oh look, we've got a key here. We've got a key. We've got a little. We've got a little secret. Let's have the key. Grab the key out of the ignition. Is there a secret little drawer under here? Is there? Let's have a look. We got all's. Oh, wait, oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. look, at <laughs> look at that. Oh, hold on. What have we got in there? Some free bolts. Look. So look, you've even got a little stash box. Look, that's a trick, isn't it? You've got a stash box under your side, Gary. No. no. Um, so that's quite cool. you got a hair clip. you got a hair clip. Yeah, I don't, I don't need those. You've got hair, Gary. I haven't. So there we go. I don't know. What's that there? Oh, that's your old DB2 port. So you can put your little diagnostics on it. We might have to have a look at the diagnostics. Um, do you reckon there's any storage under the front? Or is it literally? I don't think so. I think that's literally. Oh, there's the filler cap. You're right. So do you reckon that's? Do you reckon if it's left-hand drive, they have the filler cap swapped over to the other side? Right, here we are. We've cleaned her up. She's gleaming. She's like new. I think I thought of a name for her. I reckon Marty the Smarty. There we go. So we're going to call her Marty or him Marty. Right. A couple of other things. Let's just have a look around it now. We cleaned it. So that headlight's still steamed up. So we still got to have a look at that. But that's all right. One thing I've got to work out is how to get in the bonnet hood for our American friends. But apparently it's down to these two little secret, there's two little secret things in there. I don't know if you can see those. Hold on, let me just put some light on. And apparently you put your key in them. They're not locked, but they're just little screwdriver turn slot. And then we can take those out. But we'll do that in another video. We'll do a basic check video where you check all your fluids and, and what's going on and that. But for now, we're just having another little snooze around. So you come on past you. Look, if you notice, our two-car garage has turned into a three-car garage. How cool is that? Right. So we've had a little clean-up in there. We've done all the carpets. We've done a few. Any couple of little extra things we found. Not, not anything to get hugely excited about. But what have we got? We've got... We got I, I was trying to work out. I thought this was a really good idea because you could put a drink in here. But then if you swivel it sideways like that, you could put a lemonade bottle standing up there and have a drink as well. Right, another cool thing, this whole tray here is modular. You can unscrew this here and you can move it up. So if you had short arms and you needed to get to a drink easier, you could do that. I'm not quite sure how genius that is. The other thing was this seat folds down, doesn't it? So if you, uh, if you lift that other lever for me there, you got that one? Yeah. So look, so if you're cruising along all alone, look, and you need a, you need a bit more. I guess you've got like a diddy cup holder there, or getting your stuff in the back that folds down. And got a little tray there. We might cruise about with it like that. Another problem we found with this smart car was the seat belt was just here. If you have a look just here from the side there, right? My seat belt was all twisted, and I, I get all OCD about twisting seat belts. 
But what you can do here is it it spins all the way around. So I bet if you've just bought a smart car or look at a smart car, it'll be all twisted up like this. And you think, I thought I was going to have to undo this, but you don't. Just give it a few twirls back round and then it's as good as new. Right, there we go. We digress. Let's have a look. Move around the back. It's all cleaned up okay at the back. I think we're going to have to put a trick exhaust on this one. I'm going to have to trick him up. I need the new gas struts because we saw earlier this is all... He's lost his mojo. Oh, there we go. But he's all cleaned up inside. We've cleaned out all the carpet. Well, half cleaned out all the carpet. Give him it. It was hardly a professional valet, was it, George? Right there. That's it. So... There we go. So we've got to check the brakes. Um, and we'll do a little video on checking everything on your smart car. So check your bulb, check your brakes, check your brake pad, check your brake fluid levels, um, check your oil and your water. We'll show you how to do all that. To be honest, I don't know how to do it yet. So I'm going to have to work it out. But there we go. Um, it looks like the Range Rover's had a little baby, is not it? So we just bought it. I'm personally fascinated by the engineering. I always love it when things are different and clever and sometimes it's not everyone's cup of tea but I just thought we'll have a little play with one and see how they're engineered and put together. 